Hello everyone, welcome back to the Art Playground. My name is Nikki. I go by Nikki.ca online. Today we are going to do a tea inspired journal page and I am thinking about a favorite ride at a big amusement park that you may go to. <laughs> That's the inspiration for this page. It will pull together and you'll see what I mean soon. I'm going to be using some of the new supplies by Art by Marlene some wow embossing powders and supplies and some acrylic paint by paper artsy and, and canson watercolor paper along with my stillman and burn beta series journal here we go it's a 9 by 12 sheet of smooth bristol that is folding in half Paint some background colors for starts. For starts? To start off. Let's do some haystack. This haystack is a fabulous color to put underneath gold. If you are not familiar with the uh, paper, paper Artsy Fresco Finish Acrylics, they are wonderful if you're an art journalist because they dry matte and your pages will not stick together. Just want a loose coat. We're not going for perfection. This is just kind of a background shade. And our bubblegum pink. We had Sheen and heat gun. nice and dry. Even though this has a shine to it, it will not stick to other work in your journals. Let's choose some lanterns. So this is Studio Lights, Art by Marlene. This one is Stamp BM59. I'm going to do this nice big one first. So I've stamped four of the big ones. I'm going to be using the Primary Fuchsia Fusion WH11R. Just trying to see if I can match up that area a bit. There we go. I want to go ahead and add some clear hologram sparkle to it with the pen. Out. I'm like, where'd the pen go? It was dirty. I'll just clean it off. Let's do some clear sparkle. <laughs> They're gonna be lovely. Interesting. Huh. Well, I just learned something. I bought this set because I believed that they matched. But they are not the same size. I don't have to cut these out by hand. I kind of just want that. Let's not stamp it. Let's just die cut it. Hmm. It's worth a shot trying it. Okay, 
So the plastic looks great, but I think I need one of those rubbery pads to go in there to make that cut properly when I don't have one of those. So we're going to work with what we got. Play with the layouts. Where's my double sided sukwang tape? I need a little different surface. I wish you give them disco ball. Let's give these ones disco ball. Take another half sheet and half it again. So I'm using a quarter of a nine by twelve inch sheet of smooth Bristol paper. Draw a teacup. An eraser. I'm going to take this. I'm going to do my heart doodles in the fluorescent blue. So I want them to also work as if they were a watercolor resist. So fluorescent blue. I'm going to do some yellow. So these are the Prima watercolors. Here's 
I'm gonna use blues. Actually, I think I'll use that one. I'm gonna pre-wet my blue areas. Not too much, just a bit. Just give it a subtle little wash. Time to fussy cuts. This is a slice tool, ceramic blade for cutting details. There more first. I think the tea part needs to shine and then we're good to go. Let's do let's do a clear gloss on the tea. I want to make sure our tea really glistens. I'm going to add a little bit of the clear sparkle again, just to the spinning part of the teacup. Okay. This is called a wobble, an action wobble. It's made by Hampton Arts. want it right in the middle as much as you can for weight. That one does not want to stick down. <laughs> That's okay. There you have it. Spinning teacups. Wobbling teacup, but spinning teacup. That took me two hours. <laughs> so I hope you had fun and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye bye for now.